What is good, Cardano fam, Ada gang? We have so many exciting updates to unpack today, so hit that subscribe, hit that like. World Mobile Token sets a new record. Airnode Batch 2, Drop 2, sold out in a mere 10 minutes. So we're going to be seeing drop number three very soon, but clearly the anticipation, the excitement is just through the roof. And guys, Martin Lawrence says Joe Rogan should interview Charles Hoskinson. Now we know that Charles has spoken about this. We know that he's been on the podcast with Lex Fridman. And we also know, you know, he's in the social circle of Joe Rogan. But I do know that Charles said that timing is important. And I agree. It's important to do the right timing and having some good conversations. So I think we'll see it sooner than we think. I don't know exactly when, but what do you guys think? Joe Rogan, Charles Hoskinson, maybe throw Martin Lawrence in there as well. Maybe visit the ranch, you know what I'm saying? Trading view. And you guys see we do use trading view all the time. We'll take a look at it today for Bitcoin dominance. With over 60 million users, fully integrates Cardano meme coin SNEC. And SNEC is crushing it, guys. SNEC is just going crazy. So full integration, including volume, market cap data, website, Twitter links, etc. And we know that the buys are just coming in. I've not seen more buys on the SNEC coin bot in a while. This is just a waterfall of buys. Recently, a Chad buy. 150,000 ADA worth of SNEC. So people are paying attention and it is dominating volume for DEX trading. Rightfully so. I think that SNEC is like a blue chip meme coin. I don't think even the other meme coins come close. And I think part of that is branding, community, culture, and a strong team. So here we see the top meme coins on Solana, Ethereum can go only go up two to three X against their native currencies. But on Cardano, the top meme coins can go up to 20 to 30 X against ADA. So the TLDR is that there's massive upside potential to the meme coins on Cardano, namely SNEC, but also Nike and many others. So massive upside potential with Cardano. Speaking of, Charles is getting ready for Tech Forum Argentina just around the corner. And he will meet with the president of Argentina. We know that Argentina is leading all of Latin America with crypto inflows over $91 billion from July of 2023 to June of 2024, higher than Brazil, Mexico, El Salvador, and many others. And stopping by to check out the Avalanche community. So great to stop by. And I think AVAX has a very strong community meeting with the founder and CEO. And maybe we'll see a collaboration between the two chats. I've seen a very strong community, especially with the meme coins and AVAX. So why not? You know, I think with partner chains and whatnot, I think it could make sense. Let's talk about bridges. So Rosenbridge is just on the cusp of releasing the EVM integration. Final countdown for adding Ethereum to Rosen's supported chains to effortlessly bridge coins and tokens between Bitcoin, Cardano, Ergo, and then now Ethereum. So we'll see it very soon. So there was a whole sequence and we're getting very close UI release by Saturday. So when it drops, guys, we will make the announcement. Very excited to see capital move back and forth between Ethereum to Cardano. And as much as people think, oh, why bridge? Why bridge? They're just checkpoints at the end of the day to allow people to do what they want to do. And so it can save a lot of backtracking and it can onboard more users, more volume. I think it's a win-win. Speaking of bridge, Coindesk features the decentralized bridge WAN chain. Did you know is a continuation of Cardano's Ouroboros. Yes, that's in their documentation. Coindesk wrote that as well in their article. And now with Solana integrated with USDC, WANChain team is quote unquote, working on a direct bridge between ADA and Sol. So we saw that recently, but it's good to see the feature on Coindesk. It's nice to see a shout out to Cardano's Ouroboros, both on Coindesk and in WANChain's docs. And it's a decentralized cross-chain bridge. So I think this will help a lot for people with maybe funds in Phantom. Maybe they want to buy some snack. They want a quick way that they can onboard into the DeFi ecosystem of Cardano. So fantastic. Really looking forward to that direct bridge. Digital Asset News, we know, has spoken highly of Cardano. Still held Cardano of one of the alts since 2017. And saying that maybe native assets like Cardano and Sui 
is the way forward. So it's good to see like people who have been in the space for a while, like Digital Asset News, or even George Cryptos R Us, praising and giving recognition to Snack. Whatever we think about them personally, guys, we have to dismiss our ego and our feelings and give credit to uh, these projects and these influencers and for covering Cardano and for still giving it a chance and having optimism. So thank you to uh, Rob, I believe is his name. Appreciate it, Rob, for seeing the potential with Cardano native tokens. Why not? And speaking of, this is a very popular parody account, Elon Musk parody. And what do you see on the right there? We see the good old Snack. Founder of Dex Hunter Mellon says, notice anything, Snack is right there. So I think Snack is going to cement itself as one of the blue chips like Bonk, Mog, and many others. And I think it's going to get the eyes of many other people outside of the ecosystem, which will really benefit Cardano. And speaking of, Cardano Foundation CEO, Frederick, we also have the CTO, Giorgio, and also Jeremy, uh, October 22nd to 23rd, good stuff. Blockchain Life 2024. And so they'll be speaking next week at Blockchain Life 2024 in Dubai. A lot of stuff is happening in Dubai, right? Cardano Summit. And also we saw that CZ, you guys can check, but he made an announcement that he will be in Dubai in a personal capacity, but not during this time. He said October 30th and 31st. So I imagine a lot of stuff is happening in Dubai around that time. And we're going to see some very exciting stuff. Let's keep our expectations low, but I think we will see some surprises. Let's talk about price. We'll take a look at Google Trends and TradingView. So price right now is pretty much playing out how we said it will after we came down from 40 cents. We're kind of going sideways. I think there is optimism and there is hype, but it's still mostly within the crypto bros. So I think alt season as we know it will probably come around Q1, Q2 of 2025 minimum. I think we can easily surpass the previous all-time high with blue chips like Snack and many others. Don't forget, guys, we didn't even have smart contracts in 2021, right? Sunday swap was around the corner. We had the one transaction per block FUD, and we did a 100x in the previous bull run. And we do know, looking at TradingView, that the first all-time high, we had a 38% Bitcoin dominance. The second all-time high, blue lines are Cardano, was around 40% and we're almost at 59%. So the higher Bitcoin dominance goes, the more FUD we'll see from Bitcoin maxis and paper hands. And we need it to tumble. We need it to tumble down to like 55, 50% to green light altcoin season. And that will also coincide with Bitcoin search. We're now looking at Bitcoin global search in the past five years, interest over time with the peak being May of 2021. With the peak being May of 2021, before going into the new year of 2021, we dropped to a low level of 12. 11 actually was like the ATL. So we've had a little uptick. We did recently close around 17%, 16%. So it's up to 19%. But uh, the lower Bitcoin interest over time or search goes, the more FUD there will be because people cannot assess qualitative off-chain data like this. So we need Bitcoin global interest over time to start running up as we had in Q4 of 2020. You see, it was kind of going up 30%. People lost hope and then boom, just started going crazy. So this, this is the indicator when you start running up like that, which we haven't. We've not even reached like this level. We've reached similar, similar to that level. So going back, when Bitcoin global interest starts surging, we will see this tumble. We'll see it tumbling down just as we saw here. So Bitcoin global search, uh, Bitcoin dominance are going high and that tumble going down, signaling the green light to altcoin season. And we'll see Cardano run. We'll see many other projects run. And I'm confident we'll run because we have brand, culture, community, network effect, resilience, technology, charismatic leadership. We strike on all cylinders. So I don't see a reason why, even though it's an older narrative project, Cardano has delivered on its roadmap. And there is no quote unquote perfect project, but Cardano is my number one altcoin pick going into 2025. And I think we can easily surpass a previous all time high. With Binance sponsoring Cardano Summit and the CEO Richard Tang speaking at Cardano Summit, 
Let's not forget that Richard has highlighted the importance of the maturity for Binance and also compliance, which aligns with Cardano's ethos. With us, with compliance and decentralization, burning of Genesis keys, the delegated wallets, and also Ripple. Joining them as final founding members in the DREC Alliance and XRPL Labs and Ripple CEO, anticipating a US-centric ETF for Cardano. So we can see how a lot of these projects, the top quality alts, are working together in terms of compliance. So it's really not that complicated. I think that we are ready to blast off, especially with the bedrock foundation of Snack and many others. So search queries are strong. People talk about Cardano. The community is thriving and I think we're ready. But we're at that final moment of cap capitulating, right? I say that you cannot catapult without that capitulation. You need that final shakeout of paper hands and we're seeing it every now and then when people post uh, troll comments on X. So let me know what you guys think. What are your thoughts for price prediction and the timing? Do you think it's minimum Q1, Q2? Or do you think it's going to be much later into 2025? Hit that subscribe. Hit that like. I'll see you in the next Angry Crypto Show.